Well, I'm very honored to receive this commendation from the uh, Foreign Ministry of Japan. Getting this award, I wish my mom and dad were here, you know, because they immigrated from Japan to have a, a more opportunity for the kids. And, and I think we were able to benefit from that. And they would have been very happy to see that what they did was the right thing. And uh, also, you know, for a Canadian to be getting an award from Japan, I think would have been perfect for them. It would have really satisfied all their wants and wishes as they, you know, moved to Canada in the first place. I was involved in the uh, redress committee uh, in the Vancouver chapter. And uh, I guess the one uh, significant thing that I was able to achieve for them was that uh, in the negotiations with the Canadian government, they were having real problems in coming up with an amount of money. And so what happened is I happened to know a uh, Mr. Phil Barter from Water, uh, Price Waterhouse. And uh, during the uh, internment or the evacuation in the internment, uh, he had a friend across the street, that, a Japanese Canadian that was being uh, interned. And he felt that this was his opportunity to do something for that cause. And so he said, Price Waterhouse will do the study for you for free. He said, that's the least I can do. Coming from Price Waterhouse, it had a lot of independent uh, evaluations. And uh, so that was a the number they accepted in order to settle the, the redress. We all in life, I think we have crossroads. You could either go that way or this way. We had to make a decision whether we're going to go back to Japan after the war. And my parents, I guess, they felt that, you know, they had brothers and sisters back there and they didn't know how badly they were affected and they wanted to go back and help. But then my sister, who was 13 years old at the time, decided that she didn't want to go to Japan. And I guess they immigrated here so that we would have greater opportunities in Canada. And uh, so that's one of the crossroads that we came to that uh, made quite a difference in my life, I think. For those of you that have been to Japan, uh, you know that Tokyo is a very busy place. But the uh, palace grounds are right there in the middle of the city. Behind the, uh, uh, the wall and the moat, uh, you can get in there uh, and, and visit or rest or uh, whatever. And it's very peaceful. And we just felt with this very busy airport, there was a need to have a place where people can come and uh, you know, enjoy the time off, whether they're working at the airport or whether they're, they're waiting for the next plane to, to come. And so the whole idea was, let's have something that's not quite as, you know, rush, rush as the rest of the airport is. You know, I was involved in uh, three separate pulp mills that were joint ventures with Canadian sawmillers and the Japanese. There were all kinds of these kind of joint ventures coming up. And I remember when we went to Japan uh, and Korea with uh, a premier, uh, Bill Bennett, he said, you know, one thing is, when you go and deal with the Japanese, you shake hands and it's a deal. So they had great relationships. And that's why I'm suggesting that BC needs to get back into that with Japan.